Hey everybody, it's Billy from Spicy Ginger Soap. I'm going to make some marshmallow fireside. Got everything ready and I'm going to do a peacock swirl. I'm going to attempt to do a peacock swirl. So I've got everything ready. I'm soaping at room temperature, hoping it behaves well. probably wasn't the best container. I was thinking it would pour really well, but I don't like the way I can't uh, stir it. That's all right. I can always get my Yeah, it's emulsified. It's pretty thick, too. Alright. What I'm going to do, just because this is a little thick right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and get it into my colors first, then I'll put the, fr well, you know what, if I have to, I'll just do something different. I'm just going to go ahead and pour, because I don't, it's hard for me to um, put the right amount into the small little cups. I always feel like I'm putting the wrong amount in and getting an uneven amount. This fragrance smells really good. And my batter is nice and light today, probably because I'm not using any shea butter or rice bran oil today. Um, got lighter colored oils in here today. Oh, and no palm oil either. All right. I knew this would pour really nicely. That's why I chose it. Okay, I've got several colors. Um, I've got some titanium dioxide with some pearl white mica. And I'm gonna save some of my mica to drizzle on the top also. And this fragrance does discolor. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, okay, let's do my orange. Do the red in here. Kind of a burgundy red. 
And then I've got some activated charcoal also. feel funny stick blending in a cup this short, but uh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. This is going to be really pretty. Alright, and I am just going to stick blend a little bit in this one just to make sure it's evenly incorporated. Oh gosh! <laughs> wow! Making a mess, as usual. Wow. Okay. That looks good. Orange looks good. Oh yeah, this is really fluid. This is great. Thank goodness. This is gonna make my uh, my life easy tonight. And I've been doing a lot of, um, you know, like bright colored soaps and a lot of pinks and purples and things like that so I'm kind of excited to do this tonight because it's something different you know all right here's my mold and I did change the um, my camera to try to make you guys what is that like a little speck of something, um, to, um, gosh, I hope this is going to work out right. There we go. Because it needs to be in like thin lines. That's better. Um, anyways, I adjusted the camera to bring you guys a little bit closer. Hopefully it um, seems better, you know. You can see a little bit better. My hands are slippery. I have to get the oil off my hands. This is my first time doing this technique, so, you know, it's fun to try new things. I, I like to try new things. I enjoy the challenge and I enjoy getting different um, outcomes. It's fun. 
very fun, very interesting. A little bit nervous sometimes. But more fun than nervous. And everything's staying very fluid for me, so I'm really happy about that. I was watching some YouTube videos today and um, I came across uh, a couple of the like soap challenge videos which I've never done a soap challenge before but I was thinking I would like to do that I think maybe I'll do that um, so I signed up for to get like the notification basically of whenever the next one is and I think maybe I'll try it. The only thing is it seems like a lot of them um, you have to use the slab mold and I don't have one of those. So I don't know, we'll see. And I don't want to buy a slab mold just for, for a competition thing, you know. Not a competition, you know. A, it's more like a fun challenge, exactly what it's called. But anyways, um, I would like to do that. It sounds really fun, and I've seen a couple of like people's entries, and they always do fun new techniques. New to me, probably. I'm sure there's lots of people out there that have done a lot of them and that's you know why I'm doing this and other things because I'm trying to try new things learn new things I actually kind of like it that it's thickening up a little bit lines are more defined. Not too much now, batter. Please don't thicken up too much. Don't take that literally. Seems like the orange is the thickest. Brown. Forgot which one next. I'm sorry I'm not talking much, I'm kind of concentrating.
excited to do the swirl. Okay, I think I can do one more layer. Hopefully this orange will give me one more Wow, I have to say, my fragrance did very well. I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna do one more white. I don't know if I can get any more black out of here. I didn't, I, that one was questionable. All right, I better stop before that gets icky looking. I'm going to do one more white. I think I can get. Yeah. All right, I'm going to stop. I don't want it to get all messed up. All right. So now. I've got my skewer. And I know a lot of people make the little tool with a whole bunch of skewers, skewers, I'm sorry, um, put together, but I don't have one, so I've got to do it by hand. Oh yeah, this is so fun, I love it. Cleaning up these sides a little bit. Then we're going to go. Did I forget? No, yeah, that's right. Then, okay, let's see. You do. Then I think you do and then there we 
we go. Woohoo, that was so fun. I'm excited to see what it looks like um, when it's cut. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope that was as fun for you as it was for me. <laughs>
I need my ruler. Okay, it's a little bit thicker than, it's like two and a quarter. So, Okay. Little bit off, but um, that's okay. So there it is. I just realized though that I didn't account for the back of the bar. Dang it. All right, well on this one I'm gonna cut a little bit off and see how that goes. I don't wanna waste a bunch of soap, but at the same time I wanna get the most out of obviously this swirl. So, um, there it is. So that's going to make it a little bit thinner. It's basically exactly, almost exactly two inches. So I'll do a one inch cut. I'm worried. Okay. I actually think that's pretty perfect. So there we go. Oh my goodness, I love it. Obviously the top looks, you know, beautiful, but I think the whole, the rest of the bar looks gorgeous also. So I'm really happy with the way that this came out. Um, I'm definitely seeing some uh, peacock swirls in my future. <laughs> it's funny, it's like once I do something, I get this bug to keep doing it and perfect it, you know, just get even better and better and better at it and I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels that way oh look a perfect little heart right there isn't that cute I hope you all enjoyed watching the video. I can't even see that line. Of me making it and cutting it. And if you guys do, um, like if you guys have YouTube channels and you're filming things, I would love to um, see what you guys are doing, you know. Let me know and I'll check out. Uh, your guys' channels also. All right, I think that was a pretty good cut too. Oh wow, it's just so pretty. And you know what? This Marshmallow Fireside to me is a really great fall and winter scent. Look, there's that little heart. And look, this one looks like it too. 
not exactly a perfect heart, but like that one, but very, very pretty. Um, so like I was saying, this to me is a fall and winter scent. And so these colors that I chose, I think are perfect for that. So there we go. Very, very happy with um, all of my bars on every side, really. You know, that, that looks pretty dang good. Very happy. so pretty now of course like that's the back of that I can either trim that off um, at least there's only one bar that I didn't think about that with so anyways thank you guys for watching and um, I will bring you back the next time I make whatever I make thanks for watching bye bye